Hey everyone, if you're new here, I'm Erin and I normally do videos on topics having to do with travel hacking, which can be anything from credit cards, points, miles, airline miles, and ways of using those resources to travel for cheap or free. we have kind of some strange things going on in the world these days. I'm not doing so much of that because people really aren't traveling. So I've shifted into talking more about financial literacy and how to manage finances, things like the stock market, investments, and other things like that. Today, I'm actually going to cover a subscriber question. Kate recently wrote with the following. I have an Amazon credit card and we buy so much stuff from Amazon. I have no clue if someone would ever steal our card and have Amazon stuff shipped to their house. The entire bill just says Amazon purchase. How can we be smart about using the Amazon card? Kate, this is a great question and one that I'm sure plagues many of us. With the current state of things in the world, many of us have shifted our shopping to almost, if not 100% online. I don't really see that changing back anytime soon. So as those Amazon purchases rack up, I can understand looking at line after line of Amazon purchase followed by a dollar amount, Amazon purchase followed by a dollar amount. It gets to be overwhelming. My solution for this is basically the same as with all other credit cards and like all other aspects of managing finance. The key is in the free frequency of looking it over. When you use a tool like Mint.com or Quicken to track all of your finances in one place, it can be much easier to spot fraud. I personally look over all of my accounts every day, Monday through Friday, and usually at least once or twice on the weekends as well. Now, I don't think I would expect everybody to be as obsessive about it as me, and I admit I have more credit cards than probably the average person. So for me, it's like getting everything into one place and just like looking through the transactions and going, yeah, these all look familiar to me. I remember doing these things. It's going to make it easier if there's something there that isn't something that I approved that it's going to stand out. So checking frequently is what makes me comfortable. Checking daily is what makes me comfortable. And I don't expect that to be the same for everybody. I would say at minimum, checking all of your finances weekly is a good habit to prioritize. Specifically for Amazon, a good way to make sure that all of your purchases can be accounted for is to start by opening two browser windows. So on one side, you're going to have your credit card statement from either Chase or American Express, depending on which Amazon card you have. And uh, you would just do that by logging into the bank directly and going to your list of transactions. So you've got that in one window. And then in the other window, you want to bring up your order list in Amazon. So you put these windows side by side, and then you just scroll down as you manually and visually verify each transaction. Keep in mind that if you purchase several items on one order on Amazon, sometimes they will break that into multiple transactions on your credit card. To see those, just click into order details and then drop down the transactions as shown here. I know that seems like a lot of steps, but when it comes to keeping track of your finances, I believe it's something that's worth prioritizing. I suggest setting aside some time every week, at least, to be completely dedicated to tracking your finances, and that way you can stay on top of it and not get overwhelmed if you only do that like once a month and then you've got like probably hundreds of transactions to comb through and try to remember or maybe match up with receipts. It's just a lot. So that's how I handle managing Amazon. It can be additionally challenging if you have multiple Amazon accounts, like if you have one for a business and one for another business and then you've got a personal one and maybe you're using the same Amazon card on all three of those accounts. So in those cases, you'll have to do the two window thing that I talked about with more than one Amazon account and maybe like check them off. Really what it comes down to is that it's it's all about just checking and comparing and making sure that everything you see there is stuff that you authorized. If you guys have questions that you'd like to see answered here, you can send them to me on Twitter or in my Facebook group, or you can leave them in the comments of any of my videos, and I try to keep up on those. And um, if enough people ask, or it seems like an interesting question or something that I know um, that I have experience with, I definitely will work on making a video about it. I've got a few interesting videos in the works. I know I have not been good about releasing things very often lately. It's been an extremely busy season over here, but 
If you're not already subscribed to my channel, now is definitely the time. And you know, if this kind of stuff interests you, hit the subscribe button, share the channel with your friends and other people you know that might be interested in these kind of topics and watch some of my old videos so you know what I usually talk about because eventually we'll get back to that. We will, right? I mean, the world will go back to some sense of normalcy eventually at least to the point where we'll be traveling again, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell next to the subscribe button and then you'll be notified every time that I upload a new video. And make sure to hit the like button on this video and any others that you think are good. Leave your comments, leave your questions, and I will see you guys next time.